Hello my friends, this is Elliot from ETJ English. Good to see you again, I hope you've been doing well. Now, today we're going to be doing uh, a little bit of a vocabulary, phrases, pronunciation lesson, kind of all pushed together. We're going to be talking about adverbs. Now, adverbs are really, really important because we use them a lot in British English. But it's also how we stress them in our sentences that makes it really important. Now, if you don't know the basics of stress, then you can watch one of my previous videos about how we stress words. But generally, what we do is we make them sound more powerful in our sentence. You notice how I just said the word powerful. I said more powerful, powerful. I'm giving it more pressure, more of a push, and perhaps making the word a little bit longer in length for how long I say it. And that's mainly because I want to give that word some more emphasis, so we know which words are important in our sentences, making it easier for the listener and for ourselves. Now, before I talk about that, I do quickly need to mention about some amazing headphones I was recently sent by a company I'm very close with. They're called Studio. They're from Sweden, and they produce some amazing, amazing headphones. They sent me some because they know I need some for my pronunciation teaching. It's really important that I have some good quality headphones. So I'm not being paid to tell you this, but if you do want to buy some new headphones and you're looking for some decent ones, these ones are great, and you can check them out at Studio, and you can use my code ETJENGLISH to get 15% off. Now first, let's talk about these words that we're actually going to be using today. Maybe some of these you will already know, but it's more about the context that they're used and the way that we use them, which we're going to be focusing on today. So the first word, literally, literally. When we have the word literally, you'll notice that maybe I'm not pronouncing all of the letters. An American might pronounce it as literally. British English? Lit-ra-ly, literally, or lich, literally. If we were to pronounce the word as it's shown in Cambridge Dictionary, it would be literally, literally. But there's something we do in British English where we drop sounds. Quite often it will be a schwa sound, we will drop, and we'll actually remove it to make the word easier to say. Next word is completely. Now another thing you'll notice I'm doing here is I'm not pronouncing the T. I could say completely, which is absolutely fine. However, you will find it's more common in the UK that people will pronounce it without that final T, and it will be completely. If you want to sound a little bit more British, I do recommend just occasionally dropping a T, because we all do it, unless you're the Queen or the Prime Minister. Next word is constantly. Again, I'm dropping a T. Con-stant-ly. Now, of course, you can say constantly with the T in there. It's entirely up to you. Me, my preference, and I am a pronunciation teacher, is to say constantly, constantly. Next word, you'll hear this a lot in the UK, and this word is basically. We're not saying basically, we're saying basically, basically really, really important word, this one. So let's talk about using these words in context. Let's talk about how we may use these words. Now, generally, the word literally is supposed to mean exactly. So an exact thing would be literally. So for example, my t-shirt is literally red. It is. It is red. That is the colour of my shirt. If you want to be more specific, some people might say burgundy. That's the more specific colour of my shirt, burgundy. Literally, it means exact. However, we use this word to exaggerate things a lot in British, American, Australian, all kinds of English, okay? So, for example, if I got home from work half an hour ago, 30 minutes ago, that's still not very long that I've been home. I haven't been home for very long. So I may say to someone on the phone, I literally just got home. When I know it was 30 minutes ago, but I'm using the word literally to say, it's not, you know, it, it's still pretty close to exactly just got home, if you know what I mean, okay? So we use the word literally to exaggerate things. Let's say I see a really beautiful girl. I could say she's literally the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. However, it's probably not true. I'm using it as an exaggeration. 
literally, okay? Now listen to how I say it. I literally just got home. It's used to emphasize things, okay? And because I'm emphasizing something, this word needs to be stressed a lot. So that's why I'm really raising the tone when I say the word literally, and I'm pushing that word out. I'm stressing it hard. I literally just got home. Literally just got home. Going down at the end. Why? Because we finished speaking or finished our statement. So I literally just got home. So the next word is completely. Now, once again, this word can be used for exaggeration. So for example, if somebody is trying to say something to me which uh, is wrong, I could say, you've got it completely wrong. You've got it completely wrong. Again, what I'm doing here is I'm stressing that word. I'm giving it more pressure because it's really important to this sentence. You've got it completely wrong. Completely wrong. Going down at the end. So they may not have it completely 100% wrong, but I can still say that to emphasize that they are wrong. So again, this word is being used as an exaggeration. So if something is close to being something, we may sometimes say in our culture that it's completely, and that just gives it more emphasis what we're saying and shows how passionate we really are about what we're saying. The next word is constantly. If you do something constantly, that means you're always doing it. You don't stop. So again, this adverb is being used as an exaggeration in this sentence. I'm constantly working. I'm constantly working. Again, stress, constantly working. I'm using the word constantly because I'm exaggerating. I want to show that I work a lot, maybe more than a lot of other people. I'm not actually constantly working, but I'm saying it as an exaggeration to show that I feel like all I do is work. I'm constantly working. And now the word basically. Now the word basically is really hard to explain, but basically, okay, let's start again. Now this word is really hard to explain, uh, the word basically, but we use it um, almost as a filler in a lot of our sentences to fill gaps. Let's say I'm talking to a team, I could say, Okay guys, so basically, we need to do this today, we need to do this today, and that. So what I did then was I used it to kind of start a statement or an order for someone, something that I'm going to tell people. Basically, this is what we need to do today. However, we can also use the word basically as a exaggeration, once again, in an adverb form. So for example, I could say, I work so much that I'm basically a robot. I work so much that I'm basically a robot. Again, we're stressing basically, you know why now, it's because we're exaggerating it and it's really important to quantify what we're saying. Now we know I'm not a robot and what I'm doing is I'm using it to say, because I work so much, I should just be a robot. That's what I am. I'm, I'm just working as a robot. Okay, so we use the word basically a lot to um, refer to ourselves as being something we're not. I'm basically this, I'm basically that. And remember, we also use the word basically to start a statement. Okay guys, so basically, this is what we need to do today. Now, just a few bonus ones for you now. One of them is pretty much. Okay, so we use the word pretty much a lot here in the UK, and we'll use it to say that something is almost, Okay, so for example, someone could ask me, Elliot, have you finished your project yet? Pretty much. Now that simply just means almost, nearly. I've basically completed it. I could also say I've pretty much finished packing for my holiday. I'm saying pretty much because I'm nearly finished. It's not an exaggeration, this one. This is just to show that it's something I've nearly done. The reason I mentioned this one today is because it is very common in British English. We say this a lot. So it's a common expression, pretty much. And it just means almost. And you can use it in all kinds of different situations. And that's pretty much all it is. Pretty much, there you go. Basically, okay, literally, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for watching. As always, it has been a pleasure. Now remember, you can learn everything you could possibly need about pronunciation, British pronunciation, by joining my pronunciation course at etjenglish.com. 
The link's in the description below. And uh, you can also, when you join the course, you can talk to me on WhatsApp, send me voice recordings, and I can provide feedback and advice on your pronunciation. And don't forget the discount code on the headphones if you do need some headphones. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you next time. Cheers. Bye.